guys, today we thought that we would do sort of like a boots haul. It's mostly going to be NYX products because that's the whole reason why we went into NYX. To Not NYX, NYX to please. boots. So we thought we'd have a look in there and pick up All some of All my stuff that I bought is actually NYX. So I only picked up a couple and I also picked up a couple of little bits as well. So I thought I'd add them in, might as well. But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to go with the non NYX stuff just purely to get them out of the way. So, it's nothing special, thought I'd just show them. Basically got the simple wipes, and they're three for two, they always are, always half price, something. I always buy three, and then when they finish, go again. So yeah, I've got two of these ones, which are just the original ones, and then I've got one of these, and they're the brightening wipes. They sound good. They are, I've, these are the ones I always get. One of these, two of these. But yeah, they're really good. I think they're like £3.25 each, but they're free for two at the moment in boots, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some of my NYX stuff that I bought. Um, well, one, two, four, five, six stuff is lip stuff, so you can tell I'm obsessed with lips. Um, so I'm going to start with the lipsticks first that I got. I picked up two different lipsticks, very close in colour. Well, actually, they're not close in colour until you put them on your lips. When I tried these on, like after I bought them, um, yeah, when I tried them on after I bought them, they literally just looked exactly the same on your lips. I will say, for the price, you're getting what you're getting for the price because they're not that great with them on your lips. The only way I actually decided that I like wearing these, when I got home I tried them with a lip liner underneath and they look a lot better with a lip liner because they're so glossy. They're glossier than I thought they would be because I don't mind a glossy lipstick but where it's so glossy you then see your lip actual lip colour through the gloss which I don't personally like. So basically because they're both quite nude colours I paired it with, I think I tried it with a spice lip liner and then I put these over the top and it looked this one is 167 and the bottom one is 522. I don't know if you can see it, but they're basically a nudie brown and a pinky colour, which they are nice. They were four pounds, four pounds or 450. I think they were four pounds. So they are alright for the price that they were, but I don't think I'd pick up any more. I'm gonna go in with a non-mix again, and I picked up the L'Oreal. Lumi Magique, is that how you pronounce that? I think so, I've got it. Um, base primer, and I wanted to get this for the longest time, but I didn't. I think it's £10.99, as a guess. I'm pretty sure it's around that mark. Yeah, I just heard it's really good, and it sort of gives you Do you know what it reminds me of? Because I do have it. It's strong reminds... cream? Yeah, exactly. I know, that's what but, I thought. Do you know what, saying that, that comes up more brighter on the skin than the strong cream. Yeah, so I haven't tried it, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. But yeah, so I think that's ten ninety nine, and it's by L'Oreal. I will then go in with this. It's basically the long lasting setting spray. It's the dewy finish. I haven't tried this before, but I've seen a lot of people talk about it, so I've wanted to try it. Um, I'd say my I've got that in the matte one. That's yeah, I'd good. say my skin is like sometimes matte, sometimes I'm quite oily, so I don't actually know what my skin type combination is. Combination. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I thought. Do I, do I rather want a matte finish or do I rather want a dewy finish? I thought I'll give a dewy finish a go to see nice. I wear Estee Lauder and double wear every single day um, and it's quite obviously a matte finish so just maybe to give that a bit of a glow as such I thought I'd give this a go. This was about £8 or 6 something like that. Yeah so it wasn't too expensive, it's alright. I mean I'll see how I get on with it and then I will let you know if it's good or not but so far I'm excited to use it. So my last thing that's not NYX related is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte. I don't own anything by Revlon, um, but I heard about these and I heard that they're really good. I actually saw a customer wearing one and she looked really nice in it, but that colour was sold out, so I thought next best thing, red. So yeah, I've actually got it on today. I really like it actually, to be honest. I think I would be getting another one soon. This one's in the colour... Um, love and it's really good yeah it goes matte straight away I did swatch it on my hand and it was like so glossy and I was like that's not matte at all and I was like okay so I tried it on and it was matte so. yeah your lips do look really matte and they look really nice yeah they're not so bright but they're not 
not bright. They're in the yeah. middle. Yeah, I think it was £8.99, so for the price, it's really good. So I'm gonna go in with a blusher. I picked up a blusher from NYX because I was quite excited to try them out. Um, I'm not that much of a fan of wearing blusher myself. The only blushes that I do own is from Benefit. Um, and I think I've got one bourgeois one. But they're all very similar kind of um, tones. So I thought I'd give this one a go. It's in the colour Amber. It's basically like, like a peachy kind of pink tone. I don't know if you can see. It's really nice. I mean, I, test, I haven't actually tested it on my face, but I kind of tested it on my hand. It's quite pigmented. So hopefully it will look nice on yeah, the skin. Yeah, so a little goes a long way. Yeah, it actually does. They are quite nice. I do like it. And if they do look nice on the skin, I'll definitely be going back for some more. I think they were £6. I don't have my receipt. So yeah, they're about £6. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my first NYX product. And I got the HD Finishing Powder. We both picked it up. Yeah. And this is the translucent one. Um, I also got it in the banana one because I, I have heard good things about these. So I would put the banana one underneath my eyes to sort of um, highlight them and make them a bit brighter. And then I put the translucent one around the rest of my face. But yeah, I have heard good things about these. I think they were eight pounds. I'm excited to try it as well. It says H HD finishing powder. Yeah. So it's got to be good, hopefully. We'll give it a go. Lastly, I picked up, hmm, that one's a different one, free soft matte um, lip creams. I picked up one in Stokem, Stokem, yeah, yeah, I probably pronounced that wrong, um, one in London, which I've realised is my favourite now, and one in Abu Dhabi. Um, saying that, these two I picked up before, and I picked this one up yesterday. So I did pick them up at different times, but they're both fairly new. I did want to show them all. Um, yeah, out of all three, definitely London's my favourite. London's the more, like the more brownish kind of tones. I'd say Stockholm's more pink toned, and Abu Dhabi is a mixture of brown yeah. slash. They slash. look really nice. I yeah, don't know yeah, they are nice, but definitely London's my favourite. If you want to go for that quite brownie, basically velvet teddy, I'd go for this one. And it's really nice, it stays on all day. So yeah, I was excited to pick up a, another one or two. We've also got this one, which is the Butter Gloss in whatever that says. Paraline. Pa yeah, Paraline. Paraline. They are really nice, I'll just swatch them on my hand um, whilst you want to show another product. Okay, so the last one I have is the Angel Bill. Is that how you pronounce that? Angel Bill? Mm. It's the Skin Perfecting Primer. And I have, I know I keep saying this, but I have heard this is really good. So I wanted to pick it up for myself. Um, yeah, I haven't used it obviously because I just got it. But hopefully it's going to be good. I think this was £12. So yeah, I mean, for the amount you get, it's a bit like, oh, okay, I hope it's good. But I have heard good things. So hopefully it sort of works well with my skin. It's oil free, which is great because my face is more on the oily side. But yeah, so hopefully this goes well. And that's just that one. Okay, so this one's Paraline. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Then the second one's London. And then the third one's Stockholm. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but hey ho. And the last one's Abu Dhabi. So they're all really nice colours, all very similar, but my favourite is definitely uh, the second one, Let's which is London. Bit. Yeah, they do look very nice. I like this one. Yeah, that's the butter gloss. So yeah, yeah I do recommend these. These are 4 50 for the lip cream. Yeah, the lip cream ones and the butter glosses, I think they're a little bit more expensive, but not much expensive. Probably like 5 50 yeah, So these are good matte ones and this is a good gloss one, I do recommend it. That is the end. the end. So we only, we literally just popped in there for like two seconds just to pick up a few things from NYX because we wanted to try some. Um, we will have more hauls on the way because we're going to London soon, so yeah. we can do a bit of shopping over there. Yeah. And we may even vlog. I mean, give the video a thumbs up if you want us to vlog. Um, Yes, that's the end of our, I should stop saying it uh, because I know I say that a lot. So 
that's the end of our makeup haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave any comments below if you've got any other video ideas and we would love to see them. Yeah, yeah, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.